folks, welcome back again. Um, today's video is going to be as promised on a blue uh, on blue chip picks, uh, the one I use, and I'm shooting this in high definition. So you can, I'm going to use also use a high magnification on these picks, so you can see for yourself. Now this uh, this pick right here, I have been using for like two months right now, and uh, I played every day with it. There have been very few days that I missed uh, for two months, and you can look at it through high magnification and determine for yourself, judge for yourself, if it has worn any or not. And I've got a lot of other info on these picks I want to share with you because uh, you pretty much have to get them from Blue Chip. I mean, I don't know of any stores around anywhere that you can go in and actually try one of them and pick the one that you like. Uh, Matthew Goins, he's, uh, he, he's a good guy. He's over blue chip. I've talked to him on the phone before. I ordered a chip and ordered the wrong one. It was a jazz pick. And it was a wee little tiny pick. I couldn't even hardly hold on to. In fact, I didn't even open it when I saw it. I said, you know, I can't pick with that. It's too small. So I sent it back and I waited like two weeks and never heard anything. Nothing happened. Um, I emailed uh, Mr. Goins and told him, you know, uh, that I'd sent the, chip, the pick back and hadn't heard anything. Uh, lucky for me, I had a tracking number because he said they'd never received any pick from me. Anyways, make a long story short, I showed him the tracking number. Uh, he replaced the pick and everything turned out good. Uh, they'll treat you right there. They should for the price of these picks. So. Uh, I've got three of them right now. Um, this particular one I've been using, like I say, for two months, every single day, pretty much every day. I don't think I've missed a day with it. And we're talking a lot of hours per day. Some days I practice 12 hours. Uh, most days I get six in uh, because of the hand problem I have. I've got to play all the time, or I can't play at all. You know, that's another story. But anyways, this pick has been used a lot. It's been picked hard with a lot and played uh, rhythm a lot really hard with too. So I'm going to show it to you under very high magnification compared to a brand new one that's hardly touched strings at all yet. And you can uh, look at this one and compare it to the new one and decide for yourself. So hang on, let me... Uh, uh, get the camera set up. I, uh, I meant to say too, or I said, we are filming this in high definition uh, video wise. I don't think this camera is very capable of very high definition audio, so I'm sorry for the audio on this. It kind of sucks, and there's a lot of background noise. It's really hot here tonight. But anyway, hold on. I'll set the camera up and I'll show you these pics under a uh, very high magnification and uh, we'll talk about it. I'll tell you the things I like, the things I don't like, and uh, you can decide for yourself. Maybe it'll help you pick one out and know exactly what to order so you don't get the wrong one or have to exchange it. Okay, hang on. We're looking at these through very high magnification. I hope I've got enough light on it. Uh, I can't see worth a crap, so Hopefully the camera will focus on this, and I'm trying to use a, a high-definition camera so you can see and make your own uh, your own judgments. On the left, uh, well, first let me ask you: Can you tell both picks? The right one looks bigger than the left one. It's not. It's because of the way I have them laid under the uh, the magnifier. They're both exact same pick they're a TD 80 they're two millimeters thick they're both identical in size and shape though it doesn't look that way the right one to me looks bigger but really it's not anyway beside the point um, one of these picks I have used for two months almost every day as I said the other pick has hardly even touched strings. I mean, it's, you know, maybe been strummed a chord, but that's it. Not used at all. So you tell me, can you tell, can you tell which one's been used and which one is brand new? I've got um, 
two really bright lights on this. I hope it's enough that you can see those tips well enough to be able to make a call. So just look at them a few minutes. Uh, if you can tell which one has been uh, which one has been used for two months and which one has not been. So now I'm going to tell you. I don't know if you can see the scratches on those picks. Well, they don't have many scratches. Anyway, the one on the left has been used for two months. I've played it a lot in those two months. So you can see the tip of it compared to the one on the right, which is brand new. Uh, I used um, Dunlop 2mm plastic picks. I'd wear one of them out in just a few days. And I switched to picks that were, uh, I'll show them to you, I can't think of the name of them. They're made out of Elkhorn. And they lasted a little bit longer. I get a couple weeks out of one of those. These blue chip picks are not wearing at all that I can see. Uh, you know, I'm getting old. I can't see very good, but I don't see any wear there. Now, let me flip them over for you. Like I say, the one on the left is well used. <laughs> well used. And the one on the right is brand new. I don't know if the camera will pick up those scratches on this pick or not. This is the one that is used a lot. Has been used a lot and probably will continue to be. Usually I pick with that writing up against my thumb. And I did that. I've been doing that. So I could tell, you know, if the pick wore or not. Usually they wear on the bottom side more these picks you can uh, it doesn't matter you don't have to you know get used to playing with the writing up all the time you can uh, you can flop them over and you can they don't feel no different they always feel the same I like that tell you another thing I like I really like about these picks is um, they have a really tacky feeling to them when you uh, uh, if your hands sweat much, or if they're dry, it doesn't matter. They just the pick is made out of some kind of magical material that uh, <laughs> they won't talk about even what it is. Or I can get them to talk about it. But anyway, the the thing is, it's it's tacky feeling, and it kind of sticks to your fingers a lot. You know, not stick, but you just got to try one, man, to know what I'm talking about. They don't slip around and turn like plastic picks I would even take a knife blade and rough them up you know where I hold them so they wouldn't slip because they always slipped on me these do not they stay the same now I don't endorse these picks so I have nothing to do with blue chip they treated me good and Mr. Goings as I said he gave me a good deal on the one that got lost he replaced it but uh, anyways, hang on, I want to get this through really high magnification and let you look at those tips and see if you can uh, see any wear. Okay, this is extreme magnification on the tip of the pick I have been using every day for two months. So look at it, study it, and in a second I'll pause the camera I got to pause the camera because it takes a minute to switch over to the other pick actually I'll just let it run hopefully it'll come out okay and won't waste a lot of time okay you're looking at the pick that I have used two months every day that's the tip of it magnified let me see if I can get this on the other one yeah there's the brand new one that has never been played so look at the tip of it I'll go back to the other one now very high magnification folks it's hard to hard for an old man to see <laughs> that 
fine of detail. I do see a little bit of uh, roughness right where the string and the pick meet on this pick. But the tip of it's not gone. Where that one seems to be a little bit more shiny in that same place. Like there's nowhere at all. Well, there shouldn't be. I haven't used it. Okay, hang on. I'll get one more and we will check it out. Okay. The pick on your left is the one used for two months. The middle pick has been used uh, a pretty good bit, not a lot. You know, I've used it, I don't know, it might have 12 hours on it. No more than that, I'm absolutely sure. The one on the right is brand new. So if I can get this really high magnification on each one of those tips, wish me luck. There's the brand new one. That's the brand new pick. It's never, it's a bit, it's been brushed a couple of cords is all the tip of it. There is the one that's been used maybe 12 hours or less than that, 8 hours something. And here's the one with two months wear on it. I do see some uh, a difference there. I, this is the first time I've ever done this. so I, I'm like you. I've never seen this before. I just looked at the pick every day. I knew it wasn't wearing and I was happy. But I do see a difference there now under magnification. That's the one used a bunch. That one was used a little bit. And this one hardly at all. Now, let me turn them around so the light hits the tip the same. I should have did this the first time, probably. It's been a long, hot day. Okay. I get lights about even on those. Let's do this again. There's the new tip. The tip of the brand new pick that's been used very little. There's the tip of the pick that's been used about 12, 8 to 12, I'm saying 8 to 12 hours would be a safe bet. And this one, has got two months of hard, hard playing on it. Many hours. Well, I hope this camera's in focus. Now, you get them all three in here. There you go. Other than the little scratches you can see under high magnification, you can see the pick on the far left. To the naked eye, doesn't look like it's worn at all. But under heavy magnification, we can see that it is somewhat. Very little, but somewhat. So there is, uh, that's about as close as I can get to show you, uh, you know, and let you decide for yourself if these picks are worth the price they are asking. Some of them's a hundred bucks, man. Like I say, they're the TD-80. They're two millimeters in thickness. And the only thing that, uh, there's a couple of things I don't like about them. Hang on and I'll tell you about okay. that. So my dislikes, there's not very many of them. I really like these things. Um, I didn't really like the sound that it made my guitars produce when I first got it. First started playing with it, I liked the way it felt, the tackiness and stuff, and the way it did not slip. You 
no, I liked all that. Didn't really like the sound of it all that much. It, it, was, it wasn't bad, but it was different, you know, and it wasn't what I was, um, you know, what I liked. Uh, but that's, you have, I, one thing I can tell you, you have to learn to play with these picks. You've got to just practice with them, learn how to get the right angle with your wrist on them, and uh, they sound good. Once you find that sweet spot, the way you pick, and, and the right angle for the way you pick, uh, I'm sure you'll be happy with the way they sound. Once you find that spot, now when you, if you order one, you first get it out and start picking with it, you may not like the sound it produces. I didn't. But like I say, you know, try different angles, turn it over, turn it upside down, try it that way, and sometimes that makes a difference. Um, the other thing I didn't really not like about was uh, when you when you are picking with those, uh, especially flat picking, uh, there's nothing that gives. I mean, that pick does not bend. It does not. The only thing that moves when you pick a string is the string or your hand. The pick doesn't move or give any at all, none whatsoever. You know, I'm used to a plastic pick that bends a little bit. Uh, that just, you know, again, you have to learn to play with these picks. You just got to practice with them and get used to them and learn to play with them because they don't wear, they feel the same every time. They don't wear out. Or they haven't wore out yet. Mine hasn't. They feel the same every time you play with it. If you lose your pick and you have another one of these, uh, it feels, the brand new one feels just like the old one you've been using two months. Mine does. So, you know, it's all good, really. I paid fifty dollars for this pick. The ones I showed you, a piece. That's a, a little steep, I think. You know, in my opinion, that's a little bit much for a guitar pick. I mean, come on, man. But if you like it, and if it doesn't wear out for a very long time, and it makes the noise that you like then, uh, you know, maybe it's worth that. Maybe it's worth that if it lasts that long. It's something you, you've got to just try yourself and make your own decision, I guess, because I can only tell you what, you know, my experience with it. Blue Chip was very good to me. Uh, Matthew Goins was very good to me. I talked to him on the phone. He fixed everything and replaced the pick that got lost. Um, you know, it's... Uh, very reliable company. Uh, they even have uh, some really big names endorsing their picks and using them now. Signature picks. Uh, Chris Lee Feely makes. Uh, they make a pick, you know, CT something. I forget what it is. But uh, it's just a choice or a decision. Choices and decisions that you got to make. The bad thing is, like I say, there's. I don't know of any local stores in my. There's none in my area. I doubt there's any in yours. But you can just go out and try these picks out. So uh, the TD pick, that stands for teardrop, uh, the ones I showed you. Uh, make sure you get the one that you are used to and use and like. Uh, and be sure that it's the one that you want to keep because uh, they will trade with you if, you if it's not worn out. You know, you can order one and try it. If it's not the right one, you can send it back. They will trade with you. So it's just good. And they should for the price. So, other than the aforementioned, I like everything about these picks. Um, I think you will too. Once you get one and try it and learn how to play with it, learn the right angles to get the right sounds that you are used to hearing, I think you'll like it will last probably most of your life, from my experience. Uh, it's unbelievable. I really like to know what they're made out of. He wouldn't even tell me on the phone. He wouldn't discuss it. Anyway, you can reach Matthew Goins at 865-803-9442. Or you can email him at mgoins, M-G-O-I-N-S, at bluechippick.net. Either one of those two, you can get a hold of Matthew and uh, discuss whatever 
you know, whatever. He's a good guy. He'll talk to you on the phone. He'll help you all he can. He helped me a bunch. So uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, Blue Chip Fix TD80. I'm a happy camper. I think you will be too. Once you find the right pick that you like and the shape that you use, I think you'll be a, a happy camper as well. Coming up on my channel, I had some a lot of requests for uh, a gold rush lesson, flat picking lesson. So that's going to be coming up real soon, very soon. Um, more guitar repairs and uh, maybe a lesson on uh, flat picking blackberry blossom. Let's see how many more requests I get for that one. Uh, anyways, that's what's to come. Uh, stay tuned for all that good stuff. If you want to learn to flat pick some stuff, get some more good information and see some more instrument repairs, learn how to fix your own instruments and stuff. Uh, maybe that will help you with all of that. So stay tuned for all that stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to all my new subscribers. Man, you guys hang around. There got to be something here eventually that you like. <laughs> and the old guys, the old subscribers, thank you so much for staying around. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, I want to mention all these ads. Google has has uh, bombarded me with ads. I agreed to do this. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would click on these ads. Just click them, open them, and close them if, you don't want, if you're not interested or don't want to see. But, you know, I get paid for that. I get a few pennies a day. It's not very much. But it adds up. I mean, you know, if you get enough people clicking them. Uh, so, yeah, please do click the ads all around, in the videos, around the videos. If it's not something you want or like, uh, just close it and go on about your day. <laughs> But I'll get a few cents for that, and I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all of you subscribers, all the support. Please stay tuned. Lots of good stuff coming at you. Cheers, folks.